Welcome, everybody, to the Brigandine Bestiary for the game Legend of Renarsia. We're going to be covering the ghoul and its class ups here. So, the ghoul will change to a revenant and to a lich. Let's read the description here, see what it's about. These frightful monsters are so unsightly, they have been called living corpses. Because all their stats are so low, they may simply use them as cannon fodder. They have a low magic cost and can be used to fill up troop numbers if needed. It may be interesting to see what they will bloom into after a period of patient nurturing. And once you get to level 10, you class it up into the next class, which is a Revenant. A ghoul's new form following a class change. They now have the ability to attack enemies and steal their life force. They also learn HP recovery skills and have improved survivability. Though their overall stats are still on the low side, making them risky units to deploy. Take them through to their highest class for a surprise. And that is the Revenant. That is level 10 to level 20. Now we move on to Lich. A Revenant's new form, following a class change, dominating the underworld with their fearsome magic. These apex undead gain skills that absorb enemy HP as well as powerful new black type spells. Their healing skills also receive a boost and they can now sustain reasonable damage on the battlefield as they torment foes, all while carefully avoiding white type attacks. The one good thing about this Lich is it has Necro Rebirth, it has a ranged attack as well, but the Necro Rebirth will bring back any destroyed monster on the battlefield. The only problem with that is that it's considered a zombie and a divine ray or certain types of white elemental attacks will immediately destroy the rebirthed monster. Okay, let's look at some basic stats here. This is the ghoul in my army here. This is a revenant and this is a lich. We're going to look at the differences between them here. So let's just check this out. So essentially they use claws, they have light monster armor, they have gauntlets for their helmet space, and they have rings as does everything else. They really don't have any abilities except for just black orb attack and defense. They have a bone smash attack that has a power of 95, it's plus 6 accuracy. It is a counter bull attack. And that is the profile. So if you class it up, it will go into a Revenant, which has an extra purple orb for attack and defense, as you can see. And it will check out some of the stats here. So now when you class it up, and it has hit point recover of A, which is covers 5% of max hit point at the beginning of every turn. So your overall max hit point right here, this number, it's going to get 5% back every single turn. And that's what you get back with hit points. And so pretty much all the same stuff. You get uh, two purple orb attack and defense down here too. Instead of just the one. And uh, the mana cost does raise from what it was beforehand. And that's basically what that is all about. Alright, let's go to the Lich here. And you're going to notice that there are three purple orbs attack and defense. So it's even stronger against white elemental creatures and knights. So let's go ahead and check out its stats here. So instead now the equipment does change from a claw to a wizard staff. Everything else pretty much stays the same. But we're going to notice that this hit point recovery is at S, so it actually upgraded. The rank went up from A to S, so now we recover 10% of our max HP. So it was from 5 with the Revenant, 
up to 10 of the max HP. So that's a significant gain. That's a significant boost. And so our stats also do increase. And we went from magic cost of 30 up to 70. So there is a 40 point jump from a revenant up to a lich. So that is a gigantic boost. So you have to be able to cost... You have to be able to have enough uh, mana power to be able to fit this into your army. Just remember, it's a 40 point jump. Okay. Let's go to skills and abilities. Uh, you see that um, previously it wasn't that much, if hardly anything. Now we have Life Drain, which deals massive damage to a single adjacent unit. Recovers hit point equal to 20% of the damage dealt. So whatever damage you deal, you deal 100 points of damage, 20% of 100 back as life back to you. Got Necro Scream. It deals moderate damage to a single enemy unit within a 2 hex radius. This is a ranged attack. This can go up to two spaces away. It's a free attack. It does not cost any MP. And you can do this as many times as you want. Accuracy is lowered though. Now, we're going to look at Necro Rebirth. This is the special thing that uh, this unit gets. This is the third tier class of this unit. That's why there's three symbols here, three little shields there. So it's the third tier there, Necro Rebirth. This does <clears throat> reviving a monster killed in a current battle as a zombie. Zombie monsters will disappear at the end of the battle. So just for that particular battle that you go into, you can revive a dead monster. Now, this applies to all basic fights. It does um, not apply to special end tier fights. So, but this does apply to all basic fights. It is a pre-move, so you must stand in one space and then do it the next turn. You cannot do it on the move. And it does cost 97 MP. So it is quite expensive as far as costing magic goes. So. You have to be careful what you revive because you can only do this so many times. And there is a, another spell. It has a Venom spell. It's a three-ranged attacking spell. Power of 70. It's pre-move. It does cost 45. So you could use Venom instead of bringing something back to the battlefield. And so what Necro Rebirth will do... It shows revives a monster, and as you can see on the on the uh, left here, how there is nothing lit up here. It will bring back a monster next to your unit. So since you're right here, it'll put a monster either here or here or here or anywhere around you. But you have to have a free space in order to do so. So you can revive a monster, it'll bring that monster back directly next to you, and you can have them go right away and do an attack if you wish to do so. So that is the special thing about this. Um, don't think I showcased the um, much here, but yeah, second tier just gets Drain Touch. You get 20% of your hit points back, and that's about it. So first and second tiers for this particular monster aren't all that good, but once you get to the end tier monster of Lich, you get all those other little goodies. And uh, you can see how there's a difference of mobility too. These two monsters have a mobility of four because they walk, and this one floats. So I think that's why the mobility's up. But either way, it's, um, its preference terrain is sky now since it's floating. Whereas beforehand, if we click here or click here, run planes. So pretty much that's pretty much about it for the ghoul class. So I'm going to go ahead and do more of these videos. I'm going to go over all of the monsters and showcase them all for you. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave some likes. Definitely subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next guide video or LP video because right now I'm currently uh, finishing up Mana Celestia and I might be on my next LP very, very soon for YouTube. So, hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. 
in the next guide video or the next LP video for Brigandine. So take care and I'll see you then.